on guys, Fly Mike here, back again with another Madden NFL 16 video, but this time we're gonna do things very differently, man. I have yet to play one of my good friends in Draft Champions, or even play a friend in Draft Champions at all. So my man QJB, yes, the one, the only, the man, the myth, the legend, QJB and I are gonna be playing each other in Draft Champions. It should be a ton of fun, man. I'm really looking forward to doing this. And be sure to check out QJB if you haven't heard of him, man. I'm gonna leave a link to his video in the description down below. And hey, if you guys are gonna be in LA in June, you're probably gonna bump into me and him at E3 if you guys are going to that. But without further ado, man, let's jump into this draft. It's only right that we go Tom Coughlin with our first pick. It's probably the last time we could see him in the game unless if the Philadelphia Eagles, of course, go out and pick him up, which would be pretty freaking unbelievable. But guys, I forgot to mention that there is a stipulation to this draft. I can't just draft anyone. I have to draft the shortest player available. And in this round, it's Orlando Scandrick. All right, man, next round, again, it doesn't matter who they give me, I have to pick the shortest player. Looks like I have a choice between Eric Berry, the plain base gold edition, or Ryan Matthews. I'm gonna go Ryan Matthews, man, because you could have the very worst case scenario stack your running back. So here we go, six foot one, uh, six foot five. I think we're gonna go Amari Cooper here, yeah. All right, so we're gonna take Amari Cooper in this round. I am not mad so far at all. Ooh, here's some Fabulous, fabulous elites coming our way. So we have Eric Weddle. We can't get Kalias Campbell. We can't get Ron Parker. We're going to go Eric Weddle in this round because he is the shortest. So far, this hasn't been that bad, man. A lot of you guys. All right, man. Now that we're on round five, currently my squad composes of Amari Cooper with Eric Weddle as our best player so far. So let's see who we have to choose here. Six foot, Kenny Stills. Welcome to the squad, man. I have to take you shortest player. I wouldn't have really gone with that pick normally, but oh well, man. As look at this. We have a six foot four, Georgia Loka, Derek Johnson, and then Jordy Nelson. It's between Derek Johnson and Jordy Nelson. As much as I want to give Jordy Nelson some love, I got to finally take a player that isn't a wide receiver, and I got a chance to choose over there. So here we go. DeAndre Hopkins. Prince of Mucamera. I think I have to go with Tony Romo, my boy. You had such a horrible year this year. It was actually pretty freaking disgusting. I'm going to go with you. So we have a choice between Kiko Alonso and Jay Howard. I want to address the defensive line, so I'm going to go ahead and add Jay Howard over there. As oh, we get some nice elites coming our way. We got Ronald Darby. We got Robert Quinn and Ryan Kerrigan. Of course, we're going to have to go Darby here and expect a lot of cornerbacks whenever they're offered, man, because they're typically the shortest. Ah, oh, this sucks, man. Oh, my God. I have to take Reggie Nelson because he's 5'11". Okay, oh, well. That's the stipulation. All right, at least I have a choice between Brandon Meebane and HaHa -Ha Clinton Dix. We're going to go Meebane here. And legend round, who do we get? Randall Cunningham, John Elway, or Andre Reid? We're gonna have to go Andre Reid here, but I'm not even mad because that means we have a pretty nice offense, bro. So that concludes our draft, man. This is what my squad's looking like. If you wanna see what QJB drafted, be sure to check out his video, man, so you can see what we're both going into the game with. But I'm really liking my squad, man. I got my man, Tony Romo. Hopefully I could do him some justice after a terrible year for my Dallas Cowboys. We got Ryan Matthews at the halfback position, which proved to be a good choice when I had a tie between two short players. We got Andre Reid, Amari Cooper, and Kenny Stills at wide receiver, but check this out, bros. We have no offensive line. None. Nada. He could easily get to Tony Romo. This is going to be like Tony Romo in 2010. And then, of course, you can see we have a pretty, a, we have a pretty average defense, man. We have Eric Weddle, James Ahedic Bo. We have Ronald Darby, Orlando Skandrick, and we're going to play Reggie Nelson at the three. But besides that, baby, let's get into this. So good to be back on Draft Champions, man, and you better believe I'm not holding anything back against QJB. First and 10, and you can see QJB doesn't really have a quarterback, but I know his legend is Walter Payton, and I was prepared for the run play. Unfortunately, he still got nine yards. 
He has great wide receivers, but I just don't know about Walter Payton, man. Do we have the linebackers to keep up with him? I have no idea. Here he goes to a play action. He had a wide open cross down the middle. All right, first and 10, fresh set of downs for QJB. I'm going to be using Eric Weddle, man. See what I could get with them here. And it looks like he's making some audibles, so I'm anticipating him going deep. He is in the five wide, so we got to be prepared. And oh my goodness, slammed down the middle to an unknown wide receiver doing a little dance bro that ain't cool qjb touchdown all right so he's coming out here i see a lot of cornerbacks man we're gonna use the legion of zooms ryan matthews and we're gonna take that the distance ryan matthews huge gain of 40 for the first play all right, man, first and 10. If I know there's one thing Tony Romo likes to do, it's rolling out right. And I see Amari Cooper. He's going to come. Oh, nice try. Nice try. Dude, I thought Amari Cooper had that one, man. I thought Tony Romo let him. And I feel like he is sleeping on the run defense as we're giving it back to Ryan Matthews for a gain of three. All right, man, so it's third and six, and I see that he's in the cover three. At least I think he's in the cover three. So I'm sending Amari Cooper up, and I also have a cross down the middle, and oh, he gets a nasty hit. It's fourth and four. I know I might be slightly aggressive here, but he has a touchdown already, and if we don't come down with this one, we could be in some trouble today. Go to Amari Cooper, and does he get it after a cross? No, he doesn't. Oh, my God, what a stop. Coming within one yard short of the first down. Here comes QJB. And I know he's going to Walter P, man. And I'm just trying to ignore the fact that we missed our chance to score. I feel like an idiot, man. But I know I would have felt like a genius if I got it off. Here we go. One-on-one. -on -one. Ronald Darby. I need you to come down with it. What? Oh, come on, bro. His team. How to get AJ Green? How was AJ Green ever the shortest player? First and 10, man. We need to get on the board and we need to put up points quick. So you guys know what we're going to do. We're going to go deep. Andre Reed is not able to get a great defense. Second and 10, man. QJB has a lot of momentum on us so far. But honestly, I'm not going to back down. Uh, you guys already know we do not back down. I'm going to go underneath to Ryan Matthews. And Ryan Matthews has room. Ryan Matthews. Oh, he's still up. Oh, my God, man. I got to pick him up in my... You guys know I'm typically very run heavy, but I do not believe that Ryan Matthews has the energy to make this work, and I was correct. Third and 12. I'm looking to get on the board here, man. I'm looking to make a play here today. Oh, I'm scrambling with Romo. I see a wide open Kenny Stills. What a play. What's completely blowing my mind is the fact that my offensive line's actually looking good this game. Like, look, they're even getting pancakes. They're making room. And all right, maybe I spoke too soon. I feel like if there's a way I'm going to score here, it's in a five wide set against Q. So let's see what we're going to get here. I'm going to go. Oh, my goodness. Great pressure. Third and eight, man. I guess you could say this is somewhat of an attack. I'm watching Miller and Miller. Miller's wide open. Man, oh man. I must say, this is my first time using the Giants playbook. And it's pretty freaking intriguing, man. Because I've never used it before. I'm trying to sneak this, Q, uh, this halfback screen on cue. But I can't get it off. Honestly, man, it may be time for me to hop into practice mode and learn this playbook. Maybe I should start doing that in draft champion games, but here we go. Ryan Matthews with the toss, and we are struggling here, boy. All right, third and ten. I got to go to my legend here, and I'm just going to throw it up, and oh my god, Tony, you would. You would. So Tony Romo just completely overthrows that one, and we, are, we have to settle for a field goal, and I actually am not really happy about this at all. Uh oh sweetness grab sweetness get him get him oh my god first and ten man this has been absolutely hilarious he's completely kicking my ass so far but here he is coming out with is that geo bernard qjb i don't know if you've seen his draft video man five running backs man that's eddie lacy and giovanni bernard on his squad he told me he ended up drafting a bunch of of running backs and here's one of them Eddie Lacy and if I got the hard hit with Darby that would have been lit oh if he's going to a screen I'm gonna be ready if he goes to the screen I'm gonna be ready if he's going to the slide I'm gonna be ready and Darby I thought Darby was a hard hitter 
So far, QJB has been absolutely relentless. He's been much better so far than he was when I played him in E3 as Reggie Nelson. I'm so happy I put you at CB3. Third and six coming up against QJB. And look at that. He has MJD as, his pl as a player as well as Howard going down the middle. And that's a basic five verts play, man. He's on the board again. We're just going to lob one up and pray, man. That's all we can do here. Just lob it up and pray. Amari Cooper comes down with it. Yo, coming out in first and 10, man. I don't think these challenges are for me. I'm getting my ass beating them, but I'm having a lot of fun. And that's all that matters is Ryan Matthews gets us a gain of five. Second and five, man. I got to play to my strength and that's running the ball well, but that's not necessarily my team's strength. So I'm really hoping that we could get something here as Ryan Matthews is alive still, but loses yardage. Third and seven, man. I hope we could get a money play play here as oh QJB coming after me I find Jason Avon for a gain of 12 I gotta test him here I gotta test him here coming out with Romo one-on-one -on -one? no is that two-on-one -on -one? that's Amari Cooper and it gets picked oh my god Kareem Jackson with a nasty pick I'm getting my ass beat bro you know how Tony Romo typically is known for not doing well in December I should be known for not doing well in January because I've been slumping bro second and ten let's see where he's gonna go he's probably gonna go to Walter Payton man and unfortunately for me I was in the quarter and I didn't think of that as he gets a gain of three you know Q loved to pass this game despite his best player being Walter Payton I'm pretty sure he's gonna go to a play action here but he's definitely gonna make some adjustments he loves this play he absolutely loves it he's been killing me with it the entire game so let's see what he's gonna do here is it gonna be the same thing down the middle i see the tight end and he's gonna go to walter payton no eric weddle thank you i've been struggling to get on the board and stop the man's offense so that's two ways you that's how that's pretty much the best way to beat me as he's doing playmaker control and i'm trying to use her and i really was but i couldn't do it first and goal going to walter payton and we're gonna get the stop all right we all know where he's gonna go to here we all know it's gonna be oh great play third and goal if i could keep him off the board here or get some kind of interception that would be huge for momentum and there we go i'm just happy that he's not blowing me out by even more man okay so qjb literally massacred me in our shortest player challenge um at least i don't have to eat wasabi like i did yesterday in my wager against lost and unbound but the final score is 31 to 3 i stunk as badly as my dallas cowboy stunk if you guys are from qjb's channel welcome to the channel man i hope you guys enjoy my content if you're still an existing subscriber man thank you so much for your support from day one i love all of you guys the new people and the old besides that i'm your boy the flight mike and i'll see you guys on our next video baby peace Woo! you want me to get let me know in the comment section i'm looking for new ways to entertain you guys and if dunking it is the move is oh give me that baby here we go finish it off finish it off finish it off easy